What's up guys, welcome back to the next episode of BDO, and in the last episode we finished up, um, Dregan, and now we're moving on to Odraxia, and talk to Black Spirit, he had us come and speak to Meldor, or we, we've yet to speak to Meldor, we're gonna do that now. We already are fear itself. So, um, he was tracking us, Meldor. Heard you've been tracking us. Yeah, what brings the great hero who saved Kama Sylvia to this humble servant of the Shadow? You certainly seem to be in a hurry, and qualified to face the truth as well. Shadow Knights are omnipresent. Did all that praise go to your head? That you're the hero who restored Kama Sylv and still courage your knight? You have no idea what you've done. The day really? Promised it's getting near. What do we do? Why did you revive Kamasov in the first place? You were only an outsider. Did you really believe that the tree strengthens the Ganels? You already knew, didn't you? Who the first, first Luthragon was. Kamasov's true form is the passage leading to the shadow of this world. The light that grew on the tree is a beacon that lures in the darkness. I can't believe that you returned such a light back to the tree after hearing just one side of the whole story. That's true. Do you not remember the black death that struck Calfion? Yep. Know the spirits that have invaded Kamasylvia? The very darkness will return attracted to the light of Kamasylv. This is the result of your actions, outsider of Kama Sylvia. What's this? Okay, quest item. Soon, darkness shall override the light. I'm sure. As there are no burning ones in Kama Sylvia at the moment, we cannot extinguish the light of the revived Kama Sylv. Of course, even if we burn it down now, it's already too late, as the darkness is already on its way chasing after the light. Hmm. Unbelievable. We found the ones to fight the darkness to come. And it's a hero who doesn't even know they've unleashed hell upon the world. If Lord Belmont knew about that, Belmore knew about this. Yes, I know what he would do. I will test you to see if your strength is worthy of our future. This is a shadow mist flower that blooms only in the shadow realm. Plant this flower somewhere in Talib Bar's rope. You don't understand why I'm treating you, what I'm treating a hero like you in such a manner. Did we say that? <laughs> Failing this test will lead to your untimely demise, so turn back if you don't feel confident. Just right for offering. Hmm. Thomas light is a beacon that brings in the darkness. It kind of makes sense, so I don't, I don't think he's spewing utter nonsense. But why are we hearing this form like... But why are we hearing this from the likes of a Shadow Knight? Then Belmorn? What's Belmorn's true goal? Hmm. My head hurts just from thinking about it. Let's return to that later, because right now I'm um, pissed off. Okay. Did you see how that shadowy guy mocked us? You heard it too, right? Fail and meet an untimely demise. Turn back if you're not confident. How dare he? You mentioned the Shadow Mist Flower, right? What Laffy mentioned before. Laffy's at Lemuria Guard Post. Let's go see him. Is that a, a lake down there? Or... It is.
Um. Why would he be all the way at Lemuria guard post? Why couldn't he just be like somewhere close? Because Odraxia well, is not close to Lemuria guard post, so. Ah, look who's here, our friend Creature Knight. Long time no see. Seeing you has lift seeing you has lifted a weight off my shoulders. Yes, yeah, you cheeky girl, at least say hello to our old friend. Oh, by the way, we've some bad news. We've lost touch with Eden. That's why I thought you thought of you first, so I hired some people to find you. Okay. Besides, it's so nice to see you again like this. We're besties now, right? Huh, how many times do I have to tell you that my friend is here? Do you still have something against us? I heard that Comisovian, the Comisovian border is, com is temporarily closed. Apparently there's a major conflict going on right now. But that girl is still in Comisovia. Blast, I have no idea what exactly is happening in there. By the order of Her Majesty, no psych. We are currently unable to follow, to allow entry, really? Wow. Please turn back. What's the reason? Is there a war going on or something? One of our colleagues is still in the forest. We're unable to tell you anything, especially not... What? Not to your kind? Those of such stature unfit to even sit on a tree... What? Sit on a tree stump? Wait, what did you just say? You forest-infested caterpillars, you ain't nothing but talk. True. Oh, come on, Laffy. Cut it out. I'm tired enough already. Laffy really needs to, needs to learn how to remain cool and not let his not lose his temper. Creature Knight, aren't you some kind of hero in this place? Why don't you go ask him, pretty please? Fine. Or we just don't. Because we don't need to. The wing of Kama Sylvia is free to travel, but we're the wings of Kama Sylvia, okay? Not wing. We dare not stand in the way of the wing's journey. Ah. Wings of Kama Sylvia, nothing to be alarmed about. Ah, well, it's just plague in the Navarran Steppe. What? Pridge or not, you're free to travel through the borders if you please. Wouldn't dare stop you, the wings of Kama Sylvia. Well, what I mean is that it will be deadly for those little ones. They'll be running around ignoring our attempts to maintain this epidemic. Uh, okay. Please forgive me, the Wings of Com Please forgive me, Wings of Com Sylvia. I will tell you the truth. There was a big battle at the borders near the old wisdom tree. The enemies were the Ahibs, those who were exiled to the arid land, Odalita. I don't know what happened, but they've become like my- wait. I don't think we're that close. Maybe we are. I've checked the map again. And some of our sister were t sisters were taken prisoner. Meanwhile, the Lemur Lemuria guards succeeded in taking over our old post by bypassing the Duzok Tunnel. Queen told us to keep this to ourselves, so you can please tell those stubborn stumps to turn back. What are you talking about? 
If they catch wind of this, they'll go to every tavern in the in this world, and everyone will know. Their kind has always been like that since the beginning of time. Their kind, huh? Hey, how many times do I have to tell you? My friend is here. What do you have against us? No, why do my hunches always come true? My grandfather used to tell me how all the daughters of Sylvia were liars. Yeah. Regardless, we have a horrible monster spreading a plague. Does that mean it's no longer safe in there? Oh, no. Dan's gonna let me have it. He told me to keep an eye on her. What? Are you asking about who that person in the forest is? Well, me and Yaz are here, and Adan's no Eden somewhere else, so who do you think it is? Of course it's Orwin. Of course. Have you totally forgotten about us? Make me sad. One day she hid in a contraband wagon she found in the back alley in, a Calf in Calfion and headed for Kama Sylvia. Yeah. She said, yeah, I remember. <laughs> she said she was looking for traces of her father, whom she has never met before, and... Also, she, I wonder if her father was like uh, the Luthercon or something. Maybe not. That she was looking for a tomb of a tomb of some a tomb of some princess who cared for her as a child. She said she'd be back soon. I can't believe this is happening. It would be worse if Orwin had heard about those monsters. Judging by her personality, she'd keep looking no matter how dangerous it will be. What? You already met Orwin. How was she? Have you heard from her since then? Ah, oh, blast. I'm doomed. The last place we met- oh, yeah, at the Tannis Pond. We met her at the Tannis Pond. Looks like we can freely enter. Let's- Let's comfort him by saying that we'll look for Orwin in his stead. And ask him about the Shadow Mist Flower. Orwin? Why should we look for her? We're only saying- No, shut up, Black Spirit. We're gonna look for her. Shadow Mist Flower. Oh, right. That's, uh, that's why I was looking for you. I totally forgot. The long-sealed Forbidden Arena has reopened. The Shadow Mist Flower is an ominous flower that blooms at the arena. I heard there are some people searching for that flower these days. Those who are with the Black Spirit, like yourself. Some of them even went missing. It's from a credible source, so I'm sure they're not just rumors. Hey, yeah, there's nothing, nothing wrong with being careful. If you ever get that flower, just step on it and burn it right away. Apparently those who received the flower are headed for Odalita, the arid land, so they must have some ties to Sylvia's daughters as well, so be extra careful. They've been keeping to themselves for decades, there's no telling what other secrets they could be hiding, don't you agree? Remember, there's not an ounce of truth in what Ganels and Vadir say. What I mean is, you've nothing to lose by listening to old Lafi. So don't you be swayed by their fancy words of fate and whatnot. Don't forget. You're the secret member of, of the secret guards. And yes, please find Orin for our sake, okay? We're looking forward to hearing from you, as always. You have my thanks. Flowers bloom, blooming in the Forbidden Arena. That hadn't been sealed that has been sealed away for a long time, and they're looking for this for the ones with They're talking about us. Oh genius. They're looking for us, and we're the strongest. We can't just sit here after hearing all this. It'd be fun to meet him in person, don't you think? When you're told not to do something, it makes you want to do it more, yep. By the way, that dwarf, he knows a lot of things. Some strange for some strange reason. Where the hell where the hell does he hear it from? Well, what do we care? Let's move out, partner. We should look for Tolliber's rope that Meldor of the Watchtower told us about. We already saw Orwin alive and well, no? I'm sure she's doing fine. Let's not think about her anymore. So where should we go to get the Tolliber's rope? Oh, let's ask uh, that falsely wise chatterbox of an owl at the old wisdom tree. I don't want to go to the old wisdom tree. That's fine. We'll go to the old wizard tree, talk to that donkey of an owl. 
Let's see. See, Odali okay, I mean, actually, it's not really that far. So this is, uh, we're like, ne we're, we are next to it. That's fine. We'll go to Old, Old Bosom Tree, and then they'll probably have us, like, take this road and, like, cross border. Like, as soon as you start seeing hills like this, that's Odalita. That's fine. Let's go. And I promise honest trade. Okay. Oh, crazy or night? How have you been? Everything hectic in this place late. The beastly red eyes. I certainly don't. I certainly don't want to see them in my dream. The poor, poor girls must have entirely forgotten about their mother. What I'm talking about the Ahibs beyond beyond the Lamo Valley. The whole of Kama Sylvia is worried about that problem now. What could possibly have turned them in turned them so hideous? All kinds of speculation and rumor are flooding the streets. By the way, this is just between you and me, oh I'm sure. Odalita and the Ahibs left and the Ahibs left for was at first not an arid land. Arid land. I heard there was some sort of in indelible curse planted in the land, and the Ahibs were consumed by that very curse. And let me guess. The Ganels planted it. That's what I heard when I was having a drink drink with my old dwarf friend Oliver. Alcohol is the magical potion of truth, so it must be true. That's true. Do I look scary? How scary? You don't look scary. Oh no, Oliver. That guy. He left his important archaeology notes behind. I had a drink with him yesterday. For it had been some time since he left Giffen Temple and stopped by the old wisdom tree. For some reason, he hastily left and disappeared alone at dawn. Maybe it's because Ganels are awfully sensitive about outsider uh, outsiders lately. But still, just because one's in a hurry, they shouldn't leave behind their important notes. Is what the Calfionians mean when they say the gall of him? By the way, Wings of Comasolia, will you grant me a wish? Please return my dear friend's notes to him. I don't want to go to the temple, though. Well, of course I could go myself, but Oliver was heading across that river. What if a stray arrow finds me and I become grilled bird meat? You'll help, right? Yeah, well, whatever. We'll, we'll... Looks like you have many questions you want to ask. We're turning him down. Let me see what you have before we talk. You say it's a dangerous place, but what's in it for me? Ah, yes. How brazen of me to make a request without my own uh, rest with my with my own beak. The only thing I have to give is this chewy worm, and I don't think we share the same taste in that regard. Is there anything else you want to know? Screech owls have ears. Oliver's rope. But I. That's a name I haven't heard in quite some time. How do you come across that name of Odalita? <laughs> Seems like fate has drawn us together. Truth be told, I only know about that place. Only I, I know about that place. And I, I actually heard that from Oliver yesterday. He's come to know so many things recently. Connected to Duzak Tunnel, there is a uh, Salin's border. Named for being the territory of the Salin tribe. They're actually bears and wolves with sharp teeth, and their bodies, they're covered in huge warts. Very disgusting. <laughs> oh, I heard that Talibar's, Talibar is a name of the king of that terrifying tribe. Isn't that interesting? Oh, so where is it, you ask? Well, I don't know. Wouldn't 
my dear friend Oliver have an inkling? He's a fearless lad. I just so it just so happens that you, the wings of Kama Sylvia, have business to go where he is. And maybe this is destiny? Maybe? I don't know. Probably not. How scary. Not gonna lie, that owl talks way too much, but how do you know that Oliver guy at all? Laffy too, perhaps? Dwarves have some sort of inherent knack for this. Hmm. Shall we take a look at those notes? Why not? We'll give it back anyway. I shall continue to flow deeper in... These are the notes. I shall continue to flow deeper and deeper until I have embraced all unfathomable pain and sadness of your people. Okaira, the ancient spirit of Kama Sylvia, took in the Giffen army who were strangers to the land in southern Kama Sylvia. She led the army by borrowing the eyes, ears, and mouths of the tooth fairies, but the Giffen army to establish... For the Giffen army to establish a base in the promised ground. But as soon as Okiara returned, returned to nature's embrace as the ever-flowing river, the tooth fairies came up with a new contract. Kama Sylvia will no longer intervene with Giffen Risa matters. Risia matters. Nor will the Giffen Risia leave their designated area. The Tooth Fairy could relocate the Giffen Risia army, and then, con and then the contract would in effect, would be in effect, whenever the Tooth Fairies so desired. As they signed the contract, the Giffen did so under one condition: to have all their memories erased. Did the Giffen truly voluntarily make this request? Even have all their memories of the beautiful songs erased? Why haven't the Tooth Fairies shared the powerful Giffen army with the daughters? of Sylvia, those who have their blessing. In a way, this pact makes no sense. Could it be that those stone-cold ancient weapons, in fact, have a heart? Oh, partner, see that engraved name there? Bed Mountain, oh. Oliver Bed Mountain, it says. How is he related to Lofi? Ah, uh, bear. A wild animal ate it as a snack while I was taking a nap. But here it is, sitting at the old wisdom tree all this time. That little owl. Why can't he just fly here instead, making people run all around like this? Anyway, thank you. Isn't this a dangerous place? Well, you're not wrong. But that's just a rule set by the detestable Ganels. And it has nothing to do with strangers like us. After all, Ganels have no regard for our safety either. True. This is a Thornwood Guard Tower. I guess you haven't seen this before. I know there are ill rumors about this land. Perhaps that's why you've never been here. I've heard studying the ruins of Giffen Risia for a long time. I've been studying. I used to come to this place quite often. So I know there's a road ahead. By the way, it's... Been a while since I stopped, and do you see this majestic thornwood tree grown by the Ahibs? Their new sacred tree, Tarasil, has grown very powerful. They even fused the Azur Guard stone from early Odalita. By the way, what business do you have here? It looks like you were heading to the conflict zone. Rumor has it that many Lemurian forces have died there. So you're a mercenary going there to back them up, right? No. I knew it. 
You were heading to Talib Talibar's rope. What? Where'd you hear that? Was it that hour? Oh gosh. I'll cut it short. If you're heading there to satisfy your curiosity, just don't. It's a place of unimaginable horror beyond belief. Did you read my archaeology notes? Oh no, it's unsealed. That little owl belongs as a side dish <laughs> or to a simple prawn meal after being fried to a crisp. Okay, calm down. Gotta keep calm. I mean, you're not to blame here. It's my fault for having a friend like that. The Tooth Fairies and Gunnels discover my writings. Being suspicious of their relations, they'll hunt me down. So please forget what you read in my notes. In return, I'll reveal the location of Talibar's rope to you. Nope. Please stop trying to think about it. This is not a matter you should get involved with, even if you're a hero. Thornwood has combined so well with the Azur Guard Stone. She's riding the bear. Okay. It's like a sisty pig, but a bear with armor. Okay. Is this who we're supposed to speak with? Meldor, Shadow Knight, gave me the Shadow Mist Flower. Ah, I guess sent by Meldor. It appears that the real story shall begin soon. Welcome to Talibar's Rope, a place under the reign of Queen Sapir. Or Sapir? 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 Who shall usher in the future of the Ahib. Okay. Okay, why, why don't you just... Take me to the target, Mike. Imagine riding a Turo while grabbing by its horns. Isn't that gonna be fun? Queen Sefa's insight is marvelous indeed. Huh. Look at how she has control over them. She talks way too much. Ah, oh, Meldor, that bastard. I was wondering why he sounded so confident. But to think that he would send over the very hero who restored the light of Kamasilv. That was surprising. I would have never made such a choice. But I'm sure you or Meldor know exactly what kind of lands these are. If it was up to me, I'd feed you, I'd feed you to the Solens. And yet you're still a guest of an old ally and friend, so is like a disease the second chief and his followers for the wing of Kama Sylvia to have arrived here at Tolliver's rope may also be seen as being under the guidance of our mother as you know the lands spread beyond are of Odalita the lands promised to us Ahib the burning ones thanks to the petty heroics of you and those stupid canals the world of sh the world's shadow has drawn even closer were you afraid of this being able to speak several words doesn't make them equal to us. Remember, the shadow's name no is Vuhara Kahiliak. Kahiliak. We must be ready to hit them hard. Can you shut up? Their master's hand. How do the God of Darkness and Despair f uh, from the world beyond Kamasilv? Do you remember the Black Death that swept over the continent? 
This is a very encroachment and expansion. This is that very encroachment and expansion of Hadam's world. Chief Josia Ador, the leader of the Vidirs, burned Kamasilv and its roots to halt the darkness. But a fool revived the tree, an action equal to opening the Gate of Destruction, otherwise known as Hadam. Imagine riding a Turo while grabbing by its horns. Not realizing that the true, not realizing that the true darkness was drawing near, those stupid canals blindly indeed. celebrated the restoration of Kamasilv's light. However, we are the true descendants of our mother Sylvia. We decided to save the world once again, following the will of the chief. So the Ahib, along with the Shadow Knights, reopened the forbidden battlefield, the Shadow Arena. It is there that a battlefield will be. It is. It is there in that battlefield where we seek to create shadow heroes to fight against the looming darkness. Anguish is like a disease. And yet heroes the alone cannot stop the darkness. Hadam is like an encroachment us. itself. To fight it, you must make it materialize. Hands. From the shadows, okay. The shadow mist flower is a flower that blooms in the shadow arena when it re which resembles the realm of Hadum. Use this flower to summon Sigord, the shadow of nightmares, destroy him. Then I'll show you the path to become a true hero. Being able to speak several words doesn't make them equal to us. Remember, no matter how Okay, maybe we shouldn't bring Orin like all the way down there. Well, Wings of Kama Sylvia, you seem to live up to your name. I suppose our old ally of a friend is a Here is the Horn of Sigord, the Shadow of Nightmares. It serves as proof that you have what it takes to save this world. Now that you have earned the right to be, the, to, to be Queen Saphir's hero, look upon the greater, higher, unfathomable cause that... Don't be tied down to old conf conflicts lingering with emotions from yesteryear. We'll look to the darkness that will soon encroach upon this world. Athers the immortal alchemist, the, Luth the first Luthergon who crossed over to com from Kamasilv, was once a loyal dog of Hadam, but now bites back at its former masters. We believe there is a key to bring forth the realm of Hadum mentioned in his journal. Show Sigord's horn to Commander Opensilia to receive his journal. Follow, hit, follow in his path to start the adventure that will shape the fate of the world. Caphris, the immortal alchemist. Caphris, I remember the first, uh, the first time I heard that name was in Balanos. The one who has left footprints all over the world was actually once a loyal dog of Hadam. Seems like he's been through a lot. By the way, what did she call you? The queen of Saf the hero of Queen Saphir? Says who? Sylvia's daughters. Sure enjoy naming random things, that's true. Anyway, there's something that's been bothering me for a while. Did you see that light pillar back there? It seems to stick out like a dreary pl like a dreary piece place.
Beautiful pillar of light akin to heavenly gates. You keep staring as your eyes slowly start to close, you feel at ease. When you first branded your weapon with your name, when the dream horse drew near you. What? How do they know that I have a dream horse? When you discovered hidden ancient knowledge, when you opened precious treasures from a box. Emotions from all the happy moments you've experienced thus far rush over you. That's interesting. The rock that's drawing in all the light. You want to lie down in that space. Yet this one, a Ganel. Why is a Ganel here? And why... Never mind. Unpleasant red magic. Even the wings of Kama Sylvia is but a moth to the light before the Orzeka Lightstone. Everything is bound to change. What matters is that you're alive, right? Living a useful life like this is so much better than pointless death. Kama Sylvia no longer exists to me. There's only the queen who I once served. I wonder what the Ganels will say when they realize the truth behind the false queen. Hmm. The Ashen Moon Sybil was always... or Sybil always releases the ash powder into the air. We don't know the meaning behind her act. Is that who we're supposed to talk to? Well, at least we can communicate with two rows, can't we? Of course, they're not as strong as the golems of Olu, but we can still keep them under control. You over there, you're supposed to be looking for traces of Kafris, and yet, what are you doing snooping around here? Just because Commander Lazella has appointed you as a hero, the promised lands of Odalita is not a place you can loiter around as you please. Ignore whatever the Ashen Moon Sybil may be doing. It's best that you just mind your own business. Why don't you head up in towards the Turo Watchtower? Commander Opencilia will be waiting there. Don't go poking your nose in every corner. Leave now and restore this world that you that you've damned with your own hands. I heard their second chief is contacting the Odrid Sybil lately. But Gosh, she's so cold. Or Zeka's lightstone? What is it? Why is she turning us away? What what are they trying to hide? That girl over there sticks out like a sore, sore thumb. She's a Ganel, no? And an anal? What? I've heard of that name before. Yes, the former queen of, queen of Kama Sylvia, Amelia Ornette, the tyrant. Huh. Her elite guards were known as the Ainals. Why are those people who've now been stigmatized by Brolina staying here in this place with the Ahibs? By the way, partner, do you... Do you hear some thumping noise from somewhere? I think it's coming from up there, loud enough to shake the entire cave, so let's head up. So this person's, uh... Supposedly... Okay, I mean, I, don't, I can't really tell. What's going on here? They are pissy. 
pair of large bulky creatures of an unidentified unidentified tribe are locked in a duel. The second chief is still strong. He will not fold easily. The Turo that follow him will remain in high. Is that not who we're supposed to speak to? Oh, wait. That is who we're supposed to speak to. I was spectate the fight of the unidentified tribe. Didn't we just do that? Two magnificent curved horns resemble tall spears that could pierce the skies. And their sturdy physique shows no sign of weakness sturdy like castle walls. Huh. Neither willing to yield, their crimson blood vessels bulging in their show of sh Their awe-inspiring duel shook the very heart of the earth. I don't think it did all that. What is this Ahib doing? What exactly is the relation between those giant creatures and the Ahibs? Audrite Sybil has reached out, yet many Turos are still loyal to the second chief. I've never seen this one before, and they to accompany and, and are they to accompany us to Thornwood Castle? This one defeated Sigurd, the Shadow of the Nightmares. We will not send this person to Thornwood Castle for now. This one doesn't follow Tunta's prophecy. If that's the case, they cannot be our comrade yet. Hmm. Saphir's so Ahibs, on the other hand, follow Tunta's prophecy. Turos only welcome those who follow the prophecy. Shh, stop talking. You're right, that is all. So please save your breath in front of this one. What the hell? Look look how she shut him up in front of us. Are they... And they butted you up as their hero of Saphir? Or some nonsense? Are the Ahibs really not to be trusted just as we heard? Those burly guys, by the way, are they called Turos, I think? They both appear to be friends, yet one of them don't appear like us. Oh, hey, partner, do you remember one of those things getting attacked back in the cave? Things seem quite different between here and back there. Something's fishy. Shall we eavesdrop a bit and pretend to look on? Sure. Is the is the Aud is it the Audrite Sybil's fault? Many of the Turos seem confused. I heard that most of them will be moved to Thornwood Castle, except for the second chief. A sudden influx of Turo appearing here and there must mean that the influence of Audra had much to do with it. It's quite unexpected. I thought they were all mass with no brains, but it appears that they are a few that can think. Indeed. Guess they aren't just all brawn after all. Their strength lies in their tolerance. The Fatus almost immediately lost their minds to the ash powder of the Black Star, but the Turos are barely affected, as well as adding a slight feeling of ecstasy. And yet we may never know when they'll return, or when they'll turn their backs on us, so we must tame them while we can. I'm trying to in my mind, figure out how you can have a slight feeling of ecstasy. Isn't that a bit oxymoronic? Hmm. hmm. I'm hearing a lot of familiar words. The ash powder of the Black Star, Fatus. Listening to the conversations, the alliance between the Ahibs and the Turos sounds like a con in play by small-time crooks, don't you think?
Oh wait, it appears that someone's here. Looks like she wants to talk to us. Is she the Ahib known as Opencilia? Those girls were talking about earlier. Okay, pretty sure she's floating. I see you've been watching the Turos duel. Turos are the owners of Odalita's ancient forest, Tenka Tenkuta. She says the revived Kamasil will kill us. They are stronger, more abdominable, more indomitable than any other race. And honest to a fault. One day Tunta, the earth god they serve, bestowed a prophecy to the Grand Chief Ulutuka that the Kamasil tree, which you so foolishly revived, would bring death and destruction to all. And that his people should become the shield of the most vulnerable to the darkness, so therein to protect the primal forest, Tunkuda. For a thousand years, they've never set, up, set foot outside the forest, nor had contact with any other tribe, and now they've begun to move. Hmm. While you were taking in all the praise from the Ganals, the owners of these arid lands were preparing for war in such desperation. You who seek to prove your worth as a hero, show me the horn of Saigor, the, the, the shadow of nightmares. Like a nightmare, Hadum's realm shall soon consume this world, and it's already begun. Hadum's encroachment does not manifest a physical force, it materializes a disease plaguing the body. Do you see them? Turos are intrinsically capable of rejecting Tunta's prophecy. However, those rejected prophecies calling upon them to move out of their native grounds to fight against Hadam and for what? They have lost their mind to the point where they can't recognize even their own people and eventually were kicked out of the grand, their grand chief, Ulutaka's forest, Tunkuta. This is only one part of consequence from reviving the Kamasilv's light. A small omen wrought by the wings of Kamasilvia. This is the encroachment of Hadum that has already begun. Hmm. It has appeared first in this land, darkest of all the worlds. Order and balance of a thousand years toppled in a single moment. Inevitably, the gods they serve Tunta was consumed by Hadum. Time is ever passing and it will never stop. Soon it will cast a shade upon the laughter of everyone in this world. You who revived the light back to Kamasil have cut off their horns and their flesh and feel it for yourself. Realize and repent what has been done with your own hands just as the servants of Hadum Kafris did. If you don't follow in his footsteps with all your hearts, then Kafris' journal will be nothing more than kindling. Okay. O oh, pitiful hero of Kama Sylvia, the blood on your hands marks the beginning of your atonement. 
and pay your respects to the chief Josoya Ador, the first Sahib who burned down our mother's Kama Sof to save us all. These are her words spoken to, to those close to her. Darkness looms, granting no time to look back. Heed those words, do not dwell on being deceived by the vile tongues of the despicable Akshirs, but rid yourself of looming shadow. Of course you don't seem to have grasped the, how burning the Kama Sof could save this world. Here, this is the journal of Kafras who once was a servant of Hadoom and its end lies the answers we are all looking for. Why haven't you left yet? Does my story, story sound too far-fetched for you? Your hands are already covered in Turo's blood. But you still have doubts. I don't know what makes you... Hmm. Whether or not to believe our story or the journal is entirely up to you, or maybe you could ask the daughters of Kafris for yourself. We saved her at Salon's border where she almost got herself killed by the Fallen Ones. Although thanks to that child, we got involved in an armed conflict with Grana. Yet we knew it was no use to explain the situation to those fo foolish Gunnels. Also, did you know that there's another black spirit stalking you? Heed these words, for in Kafris' journal, there's a passage that reads, the black, spirits is, the black Spirit is Desperation's incarnation. And Desperation is the best offering to darkness. Oh, okay. I don't, we'll offer Black Spirit, that's fine. If we need to offer him, that's fine. By the goddess, huh? I sense Kama Silva's light from you. Are, are you? You're the wings of Kama Silva. Everyone's talking about, right? The obsidian ashes shall defend Kama Silva to the end. House Chief Rima Taransom. Haven't heard from her for a while. Oh yes, your name's Courageous Knight, right? I'm a Taraxia. A dark night, as you can see. I can't really see that, but okay. But how'd you know I was following you? I thought I was super careful. Huh? Don't be mistaken, I'm not that weird. Oh, the, ho the Horn of Sigurd. You took the Trial of the Shadow too, didn't you? Me too, I passed the test with my Black Spirit. So why don't we go look for traces of the Kafir's Journal together? You know how it's... You know how it's like traveling with a black spirit. So lonely and dull, no? True. Oh, uh, whatever. We'll go with it. Really? Are you sure? Do you know how desperate... Do you know how to operate a ship? I don't want to go on a ship with you. I have sea sicknesses, so I can't operate a ship. What does it have to do with operating a ship? Well, you know. So, are we leaving right Well, then, I'll be waiting for you at the old wisdom tree? No. I'll head over there first, so... Be quick to catch up. This is enemy territory. If we travel together, we'll attract unnecessary attention. Besides, you're the hero hero of Kama Sylvia. The land of the Ahib, the Atres won't like it. Think about it. 
Hey, you gonna follow her without discussing this with me? Get a hold of yourself. There's two, two's company, three's a crowd. The black spirit is desperation incarnate, and desperation is the best offering to darkness. Have you forgotten what that heap said already? Of course I'm different. No, you're not. What are you, what you and I have is truly special. No, it's not. But who knows if the black spirit with her is anything like me. It's suspicious that they wanted to be friends right after being caught. Think about it. Our first encounter began with them sneaking behind our back. They might just use us until they get what they want and then betray us. Think carefully about whether you want to be a companion or pawn. Besides, we need to be heading over to the Solid Border now to meet with the daughter of Caphras and see what the heap said about the journal is true, the Dark Knight. Whether she waits for us at Old Wisdom Tree or not, that's her problem. True, okay. Wait, aren't you the wings of Kama Sylvia? This is Salin's border, a conflict zone with the Ahibs. I don't know how you ended up coming this to this dangerous region, but you need to return to the old wisdom tree immediately. No. They've broken the front lines. Hmm. You're gonna cross the bridge? I won't allow it, you're talking nonsense. Hmm? Huh? Any sort of rash action will be taken as a provocation. Our captured sisters will be in danger. Okay, I, I get that. This is a battlefield. No matter who you are, you must adhere to the authority of the field commander. Look at their red eyes. They're obviously consumed by forbidden power, and we are here making a stand against them. Soon the enemy's reinforcements will arrive through Duzak Tunnel. Before that, we need... What are you... You can't just go in like this. Yeah, we can. I don't give a crap about freaking... Whoever your sisters are, whatever. What use is reviving the light of Kama Sylph if they're still so weak? Huh. Well, I didn't realize they were that weak. That sucks. That's why you're getting captured and wrecked, I guess. I was walking leisurely on the battlefield. It's you, isn't it? The one who received Caprice's journal from the commander of Pencilia? What took you so long? Out taking a stroll? Hurry up and go inside. Kina might be going to sleep soon. Okay. a good day to die by accident. How does it feel? Hmm. You folks haven't been here in a long time, have you? You're here. Doesn't it remind you of the old days? I nearly died waiting for you. I know you wouldn't help yourself and just pass on by. I... Thanks to this one here, I was able to get a decent workout with my sisters, although we ended up getting misunderstood by those stupid canals. Oh, shit. Hey, let go of this one let go of this one still wet behind the ears. Hurry up, we need to return to Thornwood Forest soon. Queen Sefa worries a bit too much, I think. How would those Let me make this clear. Orwin crossed borders first. She's still very immature, as if she was a child. Where does she think this is? What? Come to see her nanny? Huh? If it weren't for her commander open silly, I would have killed her on the spot. Conduct your business here and get out of here quick. You here to check if your Kafir's journal was a real co was real, correct? Limoria guards. They made a very bold judgment. Very impressive. 
They must have been on Belief's command, I presume. You. Coming so boldly. How did you come here without a scratch? Unbelievable. <clears throat> it's true that I crossed over the border first, but I had good reason. Princess Catherine had returned to Mother's Embrace. So the only person here that knows me is Nanny. My Nanny. She was a Vadir and I heard she left for Odalita the day I left Princess Catherine. I may look Commissovian, but I was never one of them. I just want to find the person who raised me. After entering, entering the Duzak Tunnel, the Fallen Ones attacked me. It was actually those ones who saved me. Even a foreigner like myself knows about the relationships of the Ganels and the Vadirs, so I told them that I hadn't come to fight but only wished to see my nanny. But they didn't want to hear what I had to say. I found out why when... They looked like any other heaps, but they were actually fallen ones. Odalita is simply misunderstood. There's an ancient darkness deep within the soil of Odalita, and some of us were consumed by it. We the Ahib name such the Fallen Ones, and I have come to ostracize them. The Ahib gain power from the light of the burning of the Sacred Branch. Duzak Tunnel is currently occupied by the Fallen Ones, not the Ahib, but those who attacked Orwin. Kina was speaking the truth. I was saved by this person. Hmm? How do you know that name? The nanny I just spoke of was Opensilia. Although she doesn't look quite as how I remember, did she send you for me? Did she ask you to clear up the misunderstanding, perhaps? That means, did you go to the land of the heaps? Yes. Kaffirs? Of the old Kron Castle. I'm the alchemist's daughter. I knew that I was deeply related to Kama Sylvia in some way. Did Grandma Diga say that my father was from Kama Sylvia? But I've never met my father, not even once. Who said such a thing? Pardon, was it Opencilia? This cover. It's the same as my father's journal, which Grandma Diga gave to me when I first visited Kama Sylvia. She said this was the only book my father had written in the human language so that I could read it. But I was too young to read at the time. From what I remember, the last time I saw it was when Queen Amelia denounced the Ahib as heretics. And war broke out. I had to leave Kama Sylvia immediately, so I thought I had lost the journal back then. Open Cilia must have taken it. I remember this drawing, yes. This indeed is my... F Is a good day to die by accident. Are you done talking? The suspicious type, are we? Long time, have you? Doesn't it remind you of the old What you think Commander Opencilia would lie? What? You should leave while your head's still on your shoulders. Don't test the extent of the Commander Opencilia's mercy. We saved her life after after she trespassed into restricted area. And what? You're accusing us of holding a Ganel prisoner? That's funny, since when did the Ganels even care about Orwin? True. Unbelievable. Want to know another interesting fact? Orin was born between a Luthergon father and a human mother, so she utterly she was utterly scorned by the Ganels who obsessed over pure bloodlines as such. Fortunately, she fell under the good graces of the merciful Opencilia, and poor Princess Catherine took her in and tended to her with all her heart. Huh? Didn't you know any of this at all? Why do you think those vile Ganels came all the way here to rescue one girl? Zephyr worries a bit too much, I think. Lamoria guards, they made Ginev quite the bold move. Distinguish between us and the fallen ones. Called them bimbos. I can't disagree. Most impressive. Uh, <laughs> Lamoria guards, they made quite the bold move. Most impressive. Must have been under Ambleaf's command, trespassing into Solon lands. Orwin is, is only being used by the Ganels as an excuse. To advance into our lands. Oh. She's simply serving as bait. Perfect to stir up sympathies. There's no way the Ganels, content with their influ or affluence, actually want a war. Look at them. They put so much effort into their appearance. That's so true. And their strength is just no match for ours. I agree. Berlina, that fool. We already know that Berlina's wolf roams these lands. Though we wouldn't know 
that they brought those soldiers to protect him. Apparently the wolf knows how to read the earth symbols, but what if we find and slaughter that wolf? The Queen Berlina would fall to despair. Anyway, as I said before, this here's Solon border already belongs to the Fallen Ones. When the Ahibs have long since withdrawn from here, we've nothing to do with it. Go tell them. The patience of our Queen Saphir has now reached its limits. Pull back now if they don't want grounds to be stained with their blood. Lemuria guards. Hmm. All right. They made a very bold judgment. Very impressive. They must have been on Belief's command, I presume. Coming so boldly into Saloon's land. Unbelievable. <laughs> Alright, you guys, you know what? I think that's where we're going to leave off today. Uh, as usual, thank you guys for joining on this journey through Odalita, and hopefully you guys will join for the next one when we go and find this place. Kiana mentioned, look, um, this is already looking so cool. I don't even think this is the way we're supposed to go. But anyway, uh, in the next one, we will continue, so... Thanks once again, guys, and take care of yourselves, take care of one another, and courage your night out.